Here's a secret. Designing analog distortion that sounds good is actually extremely easy and extremely cheap. I'm, I'm serious. I'm totally serious about this. You can make a really good sounding analog distortion box for like two dollars in parts and it'll sound awesome. It'll stand up to the rest of your gear, I guarantee it. Now putting that distortion box, distortion box, that distortion circuit in a box with switches and controls and a power supply and nice powder coating and silk screen so it looks good and you can sell it and use it in your studio, that's hard. That's expensive. So what was $2 in parts is now $200 in a box that you can actually use. Um, but it's still just the, those $2 in parts making that awesome sound. Um, so that is the concept for our color format, which if you're not familiar, check out DIYrecordingequipment.com forward slash color to learn more about. But the color format is the idea of taking those $2 in parts and putting them on a little board like this that you can plug into something that already has the chassis and stuff. So you can put together a variety of sounds um, with real analog parts for the price of just one piece of gear. Now, one person in our industry who I've always uh, respected and honestly have learned a lot from um, and come to my opinions by, by reading his stuff is Ethan Weiner, who uh, has a book called The Audio Expert. He has a company called um, Real Traps that makes um, acoustic treatment. And a couple months ago, he published an article saying basically what I just said. You don't need an expensive box to make distortion. You just need a few parts. And here's the circuit to prove it. Um, and his circuit he called the, the Mojo Maestro, uh, which is our newest color. So uh, we contacted Ethan and said, hey, you know, great minds think alike. Uh, I love your circuit. Can we put it in the color format for, um, for people to use? And he said, sure, I love the idea. Um, but also because he's of that mentality, he was like, it's open source. Do whatever you want with it. <laughs> Uh, which is is awesome. So this is our newest color. It's the Mojo Maestro. It's Ethan's circuit put on a board and it couldn't be more simple. Here's the circuit. It's a diode clipper. So it has two diodes that basically limit the voltage at either end of the, um, the waveform. So imagine a sine wave. We have these two diodes that set a hard limit for the amplitude of that sine wave. So if the sine wave's coming in and we boost the volume a bit, it hits the ceiling, it hits the floor. That's clipping in a nutshell. It just lops off the top and the bottom of the waveform and in doing so creates new frequencies which are known as harmonics, which is known as harmonic distortion, which is what we all know and love. Diodes are uh, the really expensive ones that I've put in here, and I'm not kidding, these are the expensive ones, are 25 cents each. These are germanium, new old stock diodes that aren't made anymore. That's the most, probably one of the most expensive small signal diodes like this you can get, 25 cents. So our clipping right there, that's 50 cents. Uh, just to give you a sense of how dumb, stupidly simple and, and inexpensive this stuff can be when you take away the chassis and everything. Now, um, Ethan's also put in some other tricks there where you can take away one of these diodes for uh, asymmetrical clipping, which is a different sound. Um, he's built in a two different, essentially, intensity settings, glue and mojo. Um, and mojo has a little bit of filtering to, um, to make that the distortion kind of less harsh. Um, it's a really cool circuit. I'm really excited to have it um, in the color format. It's also a great playground for messing with your own distortion ideas. You know, if distortion's so easy, which I, I really do believe it to be, um, why can't anybody do it? And I, I think you should be able to do it with this board. Um, you know, start with Ethan's circuit and then just start swapping out stuff. You're not going to break anything. Um, take one of these diodes and replace it with an LED. See what happens. Um, you, you will get a different clipping sound. Uh, replace both the diodes with um, uh, a different a silicon diode or something. Uh, change out this capacitor value. It will change the tone of the mojo clipping. 
Um, and changing resistors will change the amount of the distortion, the, the, uh, the corner frequency of the filter. Um, so there's a lot here that, that you could play with. This would be a great sandbox for somebody who wants to get to, to learn how to tweak a distortion circuit. So that's the Mojo Maestro, and uh, I'm, I'm really glad to have found um, a kindred spirit in Ethan. Um, he, he likes to be a gadfly and poke at people's precious ideas about audio and, and bust myths. And um, I think this board, this color, is great at busting the myth that uh, distortion is expensive and some kind of um, black magic that you need to pay top dollar for because you, you can build this up. Uh, I think the kits are going to be like 25 bucks. You can build this up in half an hour and marvel at how simple it is and then plug it in and realize, oh my god, this sounds awesome. Um, so that is the Mojo Maestro. It'll be in the store pretty soon, um, but in the meantime, you can check out Ethan's article about it. Uh, just Google Mojo Maestro and you'll find his um, Audio Express article. Um, so that's our most recent kit. Uh, that's the Mojo Maestro. And thank you very much to Ethan for sharing the circuit with the world. And I look forward to, um, to getting in the store. So thanks for tuning in. That is our From the Bench this month.